Ready to explore the world of the Virginian? This classic 1962 TV series guarantees a mix of emotions with its funny, shocking, and sad moments. As you watch the video, keep an eye out for interesting details that might surprise you. Ever thought about a scene or moment from the Virginian that left a lasting impression on you? Or maybe you're curious about when others first tuned in to this timeless series. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear your fond memories and personal experiences related to the show. So sit back, relax, and get ready for an unforgettable journey down memory lane with the Virginian. And remember, the best is yet to come. In the vast world of TV history, one particular show stands out for its long-lasting impact and engaging storytelling, The Virginian. Set in the American West, this series took viewers on a journey through the challenges and victories of life on the frontier. Starting in 1962, The Virginian quickly became a favorite on TV. It captured people's imaginations, transporting them to a time when cowboys and outlaws roamed the rugged land of the Old West. At its heart, the Virginian was more than just a Western. It reflected the values and struggles of its time. As society dealt with questions of right and wrong, the show gave viewers a way to explore these issues in a familiar setting. Led by a talented cast, including James Drury in the lead role, the show brought to life a variety of characters, each with their own aspirations and flaws. From the tough ranch foreman to the clever cattle rustler, every character added depth to the series. But what truly made the Virginian special was its mix of action-packed drama and heartfelt moments. Whether facing the tough realities of frontier life or wrestling with moral dilemmas, the characters navigated a world that was both harsh and beautiful. Over the years, the Virginian has remained a beloved classic loved by old and new fans alike. Its timeless themes and memorable characters still touch audiences, reminding us of the power of great storytelling. In TV history, few shows have had the impact of The Virginian. Its influence lives on in the hearts of all who have been touched by its timeless tale of life on the frontier. The TV show The Virginian, which started in 1962, had some interesting moments and facts. In 1997 and 2003, a main actor took part in an event called the Western Film Fair in Charlotte, NC. In 2003, there was a reunion with some of the cast members, including Gary Clark, Randy Boone, and Roberta Shore. In its last season, the show changed its name to The Men from Shiloh. The opening credits got a makeover with a style inspired by Italian westerns. They even got Italian composer Anil Morricone to create a special theme for it. In one episode of the first season, called Woman from White Wing, they revealed that Betsy, Judge Henry Garth's daughter, is adopted. This detail was only mentioned in that episode. These examples give us a peek into what made The Virginian special, showing how it changed over time. The actor from The Virginian was Earl Hamner Jr.'s first choice for the main role in Falcon Crest, where Jane Wyman was the star. He appeared in the first unaired episode called The Vintage Years, but didn't stay on. Robert Foxworth then took over the role of Chase Geoberty until he left after season six in 1987. He also was the first to record Let There Be Peace on Earth. After leaving The Virginian, he wrote scripts that introduced Jaime, the robot, to the Get Smart TV series. His work on Falcon Crest and Get Smart showed how good he was at different things and how he influenced TV at that time. This shows how good he was at different things and how he left a mark on TV. Such talents often leave a strong mark on different projects, making them more interesting. His journey through different roles and projects shows how much he cared about storytelling. His work on different shows, from Falcon Crest to Get Smart, shows how much he influenced TV. His work continues to be remembered by audiences, showing how important it was. His name will always be remembered in TV history, showing how important his work was. This story about his career shows how talented and creative he was. The actor from The Virginian had a strong connection with Barbara Stanwyck on The Big Valley. He, alongside Troy Donahue, inspired the character Troy McClure on The Simpsons. The show has more 90-minute episodes than any other TV series, making it unlikely any other show can beat its record. His partnership with Stanwyck and his impact on popular culture made him memorable in the entertainment industry. The TV show The Virginian, which aired in 1962, had some interesting moments off-camera. In 1996 and 2003, one of its stars attended the Western Film Fair in Charlotte, North Carolina. In 2003, she met up with co-stars James Drury, Gary Clark, and Randy Boone. Besides her role in The Virginian, she also acted in other TV shows like Owen Marshall, Counselor at Law, 
and The Six Million Dollar Man. Another actor from the series appeared in movies dealing with sensitive topics like The Burning Cross in 1947 and Storm Warning in 1950, where he played a Klansman. Doug McClure and James Drury couldn't be in all 249 episodes because of the show's long format. The Shiloh Ranch in Medicine Bow, Wyoming was where the show was set. Doug, from New York City, grew up on an Oregon ranch, which made him love horses and the outdoors. He often talked about his childhood riding through the wild landscapes of the Pacific Northwest, which helped him in his role on the show. Even though they weren't in every episode, both Doug and James had a big impact on the show, and people loved watching them. The chemistry between them and the rest of the cast made The Virginian a favorite show for many people around the world. Their work on the show showed how talented and committed they were. The Virginian story still lives on, showing how powerful storytelling and TV can be. The Virginian, known for his role as the titular character in the 1962 TV series, began his acting career with minor roles in films during the late 1950s. Transitioning to Disney, he took on supporting roles until landing the lead in The Virginian. In one memorable episode titled The Traitor, he administered 20 lashes to Robert Horton's character with a bullwhip, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. He later portrayed the Errol Flynn character in a remake of Against All Flags, titled The King's Pirate in 1967. Notably, both he and Flynn passed away prematurely, with Flynn at 50 and The Virginian at 59. The Virginian, a TV series from the early 1960s, featured future Hollywood star Harrison Ford in two episodes. During his time with the Mercury Players, he met actor William Allen, forming a lasting friendship. Ross appeared in three movies produced by Alan Tarantula, As Young As We Are, and The Lively Set. Additionally, he co-starred with Pier Angeli in two films, The Light Touch and Sodom and Gomorrah. The Virginian aired on NBC every Wednesday evening throughout its entire run. In a classic Images Film Magazine article from April 2016, it was reported that the actor who played Lee Baldwin became upset while working on another show, General Hospital, and left his role. His departure led to another actor taking over the part, which lasted for decades and caused him to miss out on steady work opportunities. In 1971, he made four appearances at different midsummer festivals in Finland, where he was very popular due to his role in the series. The reception he received in Finland was likened to the fame of Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra in the US. The Virginian, a TV series from the early 1960s, faced challenges during its production. One of the lead actresses, Roberta Shore, had limited roles in other projects after leaving the show. Deane Roeder and Sarah Lane, the other two lead actresses, also had few roles post-departure. The series featured music with Randy Boone, a regular cast member, collaborating with Shore on an album called Singing Star of the Virginian, which included songs from the show. Additionally, Lawrence Welk and the Tutti Camerata Orchestra recorded many songs with Shore for Dot Label and for Walt Disney's Buena Vista Label. Shore and Rex Allen even made an album for Decca featuring songs from the movie Say One For Me. Despite production hurdles, the Virginian contributed to the careers of its cast members in various ways, from acting to music. 